Hi there everybody, on today's video I have uh, my CLK here, this is the uh, 230 um, petrol and uh, um, I'm still having an issue where the the car is basically applying the brakes for itself. Um, I've changed the steering angle sensor as that was one of the fault codes um, on, on the machine. Um, I had two fault codes basically, steering angle sensor and your rate sensor. The issue with the car is that it breaks itself now and again. Um, and it, it's a bit frightening, really. Um, so if we have a look at the codes here. Okay, so at the moment I'm getting slightly different codes. Speed sensor, rear, left, and uh, electronic stability program ESP, your rate sensor. Um, when checking the data here, I've checked all these uh, sensors, uh, they all seem to be measuring correctly. Um, now, that fault code I'm getting may be sporadic, one of these may be starting to fail, but nevertheless, um, I didn't have this, that fault code when the car was uh, applying the brakes for itself. And also, looking at this here, um, this all looks exactly the same after changing the steering angle sensor. So on, on one of my previous videos I changed the steering angle sensor and I just uh, uh, suggest everyone that if you're going to change it obviously make sure that it's faulty um, but with me it's a little bit of a trial and error because I'm a little bit uh, lost with, with what was happening. Nevertheless, um, the one I changed is a second-hand one, so it was, it was only £25, pounds. it wasn't <laughs> too expensive. Um, and this is the your rate sensor now. This is the one I'm going to change next, um, as it's also showing in here. And that has been coming back every time. So give that um, a change and see how we get on I'm just gonna leave that for the minute I'm not gonna delete those codes just yet um, now this is a 2002 CLK um, the your rate sensor it's located in the uh, in the boot area well this is a convertible so it's, it's kind of just it's behind the seat under a metal panel so I've already taken it out but uh, I'm gonna show you where it is located and you can then uh, find it that way um, I'm gonna open the the soft top Okay, so that's as much as I'm going to be opening this soft top because we need we need access um, to the back. Now, um, this cover, you will find this cover 
basically covering the metal part that I'm going to be showing here which is that which already I've already undone um, it's got lots of 10 mil screws this cover here it's uh, held in by 10 mil bolts they go all around as you can see every hole not these ones but the ones that go around um, but to access the the 10 mil bolts you need to remove that little bit of carpet that is covering this area basically and you will then find if you get that cover moved a bit maybe you don't need to remove it all the way that's where the sensor is it's just sitting there next to that uh, pump which is for the soft top and it's got two 10 mil nuts holding it and so just that one there so I'm gonna remove that now I'm gonna unplug it remove it and we're gonna change it and I'm gonna have to test drive the car and see if that makes any difference got my 10 mil socket here another thing is uh, when you fit the other sensor when you fit the new sensor don't tighten these uh, nuts too much um, well, one of mine sort of snapped uh, the bolt in which the nut goes into so it didn't snap but it, it got loosened from the chassis and that's something I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sort out somehow so let's have a look at this that's where the sensor is so when you refit this you'll have to be careful as you can see mine is already loose because I I snapped, snapped one side okay so um, I'm just gonna unplug it and take it out okay that's it there so this is what I mean that bit there got loosened from the chassis itself when I retightened this because I removed it the other day the funny thing is that since I removed it and disconnected the other day I haven't had the issue with the brakes so I'm not sure if it was something damp inside of here or what but Nevertheless, I uh, don't want to take any chances because um, this only happened a few times, which means the car drove fine for weeks and then, and then the brakes applied. So that's what's happened to this. I think I'm going to have to um, super glue it or something in there. It's only sort of snapped out. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sort this out and uh, then I'm gonna put the new sensor in. This is just a view from uh, from boot, boot area. Um, I managed to stick that back on there, the broken uh, stud. Um, I, I applied some um, a bit of glue and also I put some um, soldering iron around it so it seems quite firm at the moment so hopefully it's gonna remain firm um, if you want to remove that plate that is in there if you want to remove this plate completely you can only do it from the boot area and also this cover here 
this is the bit that covers um, that you pull out in the boot when you um, want to get the soft top down um, if you haven't got this bit on the soft top doesn't work so that's just a sliding uh, like a sliding curtain um, to release that curtain this thing basically is fitted like this um, these 10 mil bolts hold this at the top in the back in there you need to undo that and then this whole thing will come out but um, this is stuck on the side like it's glued on the side it will just have to come out if you need to remove this there's no other way uh, and try to keep it in one piece because I think I once had it falling apart and then I struggled putting it back together okay so now I'm going to fit the sensor back in there I mean the new sensor Okay, got the sensor in there. Now um, we can check the live data again and see if that's made any difference or not. Um, at the end of the day, I'm just gonna have to test drive the car. So I'm also going to delete those codes now. Okay, so codes, um, there's no codes now. Just go back to the data. This uh, looks similar. All this here looks similar. Um, so all I will be able to do is really test drive the car and see how we get on. Um, also the other thing is um, that speed sensor that came up um, I'm gonna have to be changing that at some point The only difference that I can see here, this looks all very similar to be honest, but it's the, um, this pressure sensor here, on the previous reading it was a one there, 
and now it's a zero. So, um, I'm not sure that's going to change in any way. Obviously, when you press the brakes, those uh, readings go up. So that is remaining on zero, which uh, could be good news. It's definitely uh, showing the one before, um, pressure sensor number two. So, well, again, um, I hope this video helps you locate your, your weight sensor if that's something that you need to tackle for any reason again. Um, that is the, the carpet that sits on top of the tire. So again, um, to remove that um, metal piece to get access to the sensor, you need to take that little bit of carpet out that is held in by some plastic clips. They need to pop out. Um, those clips look like something like uh, that one there um don't remember i think they're those unscrew or they just pop out anyway um you will then be able to remove that cover which will give you access to that metal cover um, and i can now see that um, if you remove the little the cut curtain that um covers that area when you pull it then it's a lot easier to to work on the area if you were just changing the sensor um, it's just as easy as those 10 mil those two 10 mil um, bolts but obviously mine broke and that gave me all that extra extra job um, nevertheless it's done now so um, we just go uh, in this cabriolet so I have the pump there and I have the unit that operates the cabriolet as well all that is hiding in there um, so now I'm going to refit everything back um, but for now I hope this video helps and uh, thanks for watching